Hello. Welcome to the video. Uh, in this uh, lesson, we're looking at section 11.6, where we're going to be making um, inferences from experiments. So what we are going to be doing is we can test a hypothesis from an experiment um, either that we create or uh, looking at uh, data from an experiment that was created. So in the text, it talks about we have a randomized uh, comparative uh, experiment which tests whether a soil supplement affects the total yield in kilograms of cherry tomato plants. The controlled group has 10 plants and the treatment group which receives the soil supplement has 10 plants. Okay, so what they're saying is we have a controlled group that has 10 plants and a treatment group that has 10 plants. And then they gave uh, the data below uh, this, uh, the table shows the results. So you got control group has um, one plant that weighed in at what, 1.2 kilograms, another one 1.3, 0.9, 1.4, so on. Treatment, 1.4, 0 0.9, so on and so forth. So what we got to do in order to make this comparison is we got to be able to find um, the experimental difference. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to find the mean of the controlled group. So what we're going to do is we are going to take these controlled numbers here and we are going to add up all of these values together. So when you add those together, uh, we get 13.7. We divide it by 10 to find the mean, which means my mean controlled group in this experiment is 1.37 kilograms. Same thing we're going to do with the treatment group. So we're going to add up all of the treatment group uh, data, which when you add those up together, you get 16.9. We divide it by 10. Now we get uh, 1.69 kilograms from the uh, treatment um, group. So then from here, what we can say is they want you to find the experimental difference. The experimental difference is being able to take the treatment and subtract it by the controlled. Well, the treatment mean was 1.69 minus the controlled mean, which was 1.37. And that gets us a total of positive 0.32. Okay. So there's some things that they want us to do. Uh, first off, they want us to display uh, the data in a dot plot, and then what can we conclude from this dot plot? So, uh, so what we can do is this: make a straight edge here, all the way across our our notes, and what I'm going to do here first is. Uh, Make a couple, actually, I'll just leave it like this. I'll make a dash here and then look at the smallest value. So the smallest value, um, if we look, is 0.7. And my largest looks like 0.24. So... So I get what between that that's what seven seventeen spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we got one, so we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we'll make this a little bit smaller. And I'll fill this in. So I got 0 0.7, 0 0.9, 1 1.1, 1 1.3, 1 1.5, 1 1.7, 1. 
2.9, 2.1, and then we got what, 2.3, and I need one more, so here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is look at all of the uh, controlled groups. So I'm gonna make the controlled group blue, and I'm gonna put that on the top. So 1.2, was right there, so that goes a dot, 1.3, there's a dot, 0.9, dot there, 1.4, here's a dot, 2.0 goes here, 1.2, there, 0.7, there, 1.9, there, 1.4, here and then 1.7 goes there all right and then the second thing i'm going to do is uh make dots and then on the below this i'm going to make it as a treatment group and i'll make that red so then this goes 1.4 so i'll go here 0.9 there 1.5 there 1.8 there, 1.6 goes here, well, 1.8 goes there, 2.4 is over here, and then we got 1.9, 1.9, and 1.7. So there is my data displayed as a double uh, dot plot. And then uh, part uh, E, is they want us to says what can you conclude well by looking at uh, the plot of the data uh, the two sets tend uh, to be fairly symmetric okay just by looking at the data it seems like uh, everything kind of um, fits in the middle so um, the mean is a suitable measurement of the center and the yield treatment group of 0.32 is more uh, than the controlled group. Uh, it appears that the soil supplement might be slightly affected, but the sample size is small and the difference uh, could be due to the change. All right, so you know, so what, what we can conclude from this uh, one test is that, all right, well, the controlled group uh, seemed to have uh, better uh, weight in um, the tomato plants. So, but it was just 10 plants, you know, is that a valid uh, experiment? The only way that we can prove that this is um, a valid experiment is if you do several of them. So uh, one of the things that uh, we can do is we could also resample the data. All right, so what they're asking us to do here is they want us to resample the data and then use uh, the mean yields of the new controlled and treatment groups to calculate the difference of the means. There are a lot of ways that you can do this. You can do this on your graphing calculator, but I also found the easiest way to do it is to do it something online. So like I just picked like I just typed in random uh, like it was like random generator. So this was being able to generate teams. And what I did here is I plugged in all of the data from the controlled group and the test group in order. So it didn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit generate. Okay. So what this is now is I'll just say like team two is going to be my now my new controlled group and then team one here is going to be my treatment group so this is going to be something that's different you know whether i teach the lecture uh up on the board or uh something that um you guys might do you know later on by yourselves this would be different even this one so looking at this one i get 1.7 1.4 1.5 1.8, 2.4, 1.9, 1.7, 1.5, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 
and 1.8. So that's our new controlled group. And then the treatment group is uh, 1, 4, 9, 1. 7, 1. 9, 1. 9, 2. 0, 1. 5, 0, 1.7, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.
actually you could make an argument that it is almost an outlier on this uh, data chart, okay? Because, I mean, it does look relatively symmetrical, but in 29 of the 200 experiments, we got a difference of relatively close to zero, okay? And that was your highest um, data value amongst the 200 resamplings, okay? So the conclusion is that we can make through these 200 resamplings is that no, it, there is no effect on the soil nutrients because, you know, yes, our assumption is zero, but through the data by taking 200 random resamplings, which means like you would go in here, oh, this was one time. Here's two. Oh, I got another set. Oh, here's three. Here's four. You would do that 200 times and create the means and stuff like that. Now, again, I'm not expecting you to do that. So luckily, they have this chart here. And again, this chart is on page 636 in your text if you're trying to reference that. But that is uh, what they are saying is that since, you know, most of the research is, you know, with it is really close to zero, it validates this um, hypothesis through the resampling. And that is uh, being able to make um, inferences from experiments. Hope this helps. Until next time.